enter the stage. We are touring the, uh, um, the Opera House. Now this is the glass pyramid above us. These are the boxes. our light. This is a, a you-know-what that I found there. Okay, well let's go up and out of this. Used to be that I could go, just go directly up, but no more. I got a roof on the place. I meant to add more carpeting to it, but uh, maybe I'll do that some other day. Today, we are going to go over to... I have to find a way out of this wood first. <laughs> okay, yeah, we haven't gone this way. too th thick. There we go. We have a space here. Let's fly up and across and over to... This is the next building that I'm building. Let's go find... Let's see, it's got to be somewhere around here. So, yes, it's over here. This is the stairway to the uh, basement. We'll take a look at the basement first. You see this is a round room, a square room. Down here, we have more uh, um, well, let's actually do that. Let's take a look. Okay. Yeah, we're going to need some lights here. I didn't put in any lights yet. Probably never will. <laughs> so I connected all these. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Bat. I found two of these down here. One's really low. I mean, I could have gone even lower and found more. Here you go. Okay, so that's what was down there. That's my unfinished, unfinished sub-basement. <laughs> I thought maybe I want to... Uh, dig out the underside of this also thought maybe I want to put in some sort of doorway there but no so we have this this will lead us to yet another room. They aren't perfectly well lit. You'd have to go around to the to the next pair of rooms. Okay, so we we got this done. 
Let's take a look inside of these. This is the long room. Um, I, this is just the ceiling of the basement below. I'm going to put in some, uh, um, yeah. <laughs> oh, gosh. I'm trying to think. What am I going to put in? The... Oh, glazed terracotta. I'm going to put in some glazed terracotta to each of these. I think these uh, hallways here uh, will get the um, the brown glazed terracotta. And we'd have like green and yellow and purple and bl black and blue. And each of the rooms would have a different color, but the hallways will all be glazed terracotta. So what I'm doing right now, and as you see, I have completed part of it. I am raising up. Come on, there you go. These walls. Oh, bother. Only so far. That one was easier because we already had one next to it. I mean, think of the scaffolding that would be needed if we were doing this in uh, survival. It would just, it would just be too much. It would take forever to do. And I don't want my videos to be going on forever. Which is why I do so much of fairly obvious stuff. Off camera. Discovering the location of those dungeons uh, was done off camera, of course. And I used Knowing that there will probably be dungeons somewhere around, I used um, um, the command game mode spectator to do it. Of course, using my night vision as well, I always keep that around. I don't know what I would do without night vision. I mean, a lot of torches laid, which, of course, is another <laughs> rather archaic thing they used to do back in the, the old days. I did everything in, in uh, survival and I didn't build things as nice back then let me tell you now, here we go we are almost to this I think we'll stop there and go building around the other side and not progressing on to the next one Now I'm going to continue the same floor plan up two more stories, which would pretty much double the height of this. Um, and I think I might put uh, domes over the corner rooms, the round rooms at the very top. But the idea I have here like this is some great school or perhaps a university there are one build, building colleges and I 
think that's a very traditional way of building a college. To just make it one room. It will be an immense uh, lump of granite, granted. <laughs> but I think it will be an asset to my, to my village here. Sort of giving it a, a whole meaning. I mean, why in the wilderness do you have this collection of uh, a huge cathedral and other structures. I think we're losing our, yeah, we are losing our daylight, but the sun is coming up, so we'll survive. There are areas here that are not used. There just was no way to get into them, like here and here. And of course, each well, imagine we're going to be one block up. Yes, sort of like that. But there, the uh, the round structure required there to be uh, areas where that you just couldn't get in. Actually, I think we could have yes I think we could have that's going to be a closet See, over here on the other side, same thing. That'll be a closet. Well, let's see, I found the use. I build closets. Um, let me just take you back downstairs and I'll show you a closet. Shouldn't be difficult. See, it wouldn't work here because here you have. Uh, the stairway. Uh, let's go in. Let's see. Here we go. And this is a closet. <laughs> That's all it is. But in in a real building, you, you need closets. There's no way for there to be a closet in here, of course. But here you do have a fireplace. Lighting, of course, is less than optimal, but I like it. <laughs> okay, where were you we then? Oh, no, 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 not there. Here. You see, there's no way to extend it over the here, because then, they, then you would need a block that would... It would just block things up. It's possible that I could use um, um, hatchways to To connect these closets. But why go to all that trouble? I think it's quite enough that I'm using them this way. I still need to... I think I'm going to put the uh, stairways up to the next floor 